Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you an easy way to apply your contour to give yourself a very simple contoured makeup look. So if you've ever struggled to know where am I supposed to put this stuff, I'm hoping that this video will help. Hi guys, recently I was asked if I could do some videos to help a couple of people who weren't too sure on placement of their contour. So I thought I would do a little mini series with just really sh a short videos to show you how I apply my contour, bronzer, highlighter just to help you out with the placement, brushes to use um, that may help you in applying these products if they're not something that you are used to using. Now as it was pointed out to me, I use these products every day so when I'm applying my makeup I do you know, put them on pretty quickly. So they wanted just a little bit more detail on where to apply these products and uh, just a little bit more detail rather than rushing through the whole thing. I just take it for granted that I can whip my makeup on rather quickly and be out the door really quickly. So hopefully these videos will help if it's not something that you are comfortable with doing. Not everybody contours their face, not everybody bronzes their face and not everybody applies highlighter on the daily basis unless you are somebody who's like me and I do. So I do hope that you find these videos helpful and if you do you might consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Please leave a comment if you like this sort of video and I will do more similar videos and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it as well. So without further ado, if you would like to see how I apply my contour, please keep watching. Okay, so contours that I have that I use, I have the Hula, which I use, it is a bronzer, but I use it as a contour because it is in a cooler shade. My One of my favourites is the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder in medium and the one I probably use on a daily basis especially uh, for work is this color here which is in the Marc Jacobs Mirage filter palette and this has lasted me for such a long time but I love the undertone of this contour. Now when it comes to brushes for contour you can go for a smaller little brush like this which is a Morphe E8 so that it nestles just in where you want to contour. I have really been enjoying this Sonia G Sculpt Pro brush. You don't need to spend this much money though, but this is really good for getting just exactly where you're wanting it. It is great for contouring down the nose if you want an easy way of doing that as well, but you don't need to spend that much money. Another couple of affordable brushes, both by Morphe. I have the Morphe R13. And I have the G2, which I don't believe they make anymore, but this is the one I've been using during the day. Now the reason I like this is that it's a small rounded brush, but it has more of a point to it as well. Once again, really good for getting in that area that you do want to contour. Now, when you're wanting to contour, now some people are, are not a great believers in contour. Wayne Goss is one of them. He just likes to bronze up the face uh, to warm it up where the sun would naturally hit your face. I like contouring, not very harshly, but just enough, just a little bit underneath my bronzer. And what you want to do is 
it is your natural hollow now just in the shadows of what's going on with the natural light here at the moment you can with all my pigmentation showing through my foundation as well it didn't do a very good job of covering it up tried to correct it today and the corrector I think has made it worse jolly good let's go this side <laughs> okay so what you're wanting to do but if you were to see you can see just the way the light's hitting there is a natural shadow just here it, on my cheek that is where you want to contour it so ideally if you don't have that shadow when you're looking at doing your face you're wanting to shade from the top of your ear down towards the corner of your mouth so down towards here but you're wanting to stop where your eye is in the middle when you are looking straight ahead so I'm going to take my favorite contour colour. I will leave links below for everything of where you can get what I have. So I start towards the back and you're, you're heading for the top of your ear here. I start towards the back and I just sweep. Towards, aiming towards here just in there and sometimes if you many years ago it used to be called the fishy face where you did the and you can see where your hollow is I tend to move my mouth that way rather than do fishy face but you can see where you are needing to just add that shadow in. I'm probably doing it a little bit harsher to what I would just to show you where I'm going. And I never worry too much about blending because I always add a bronzer and my bronzer brush is always bigger and fluffier and I find that that blends everything out so I just lay down the foundation of my contour on my cheeks now I don't contour around my forehead I leave that to my bronzer so I'm only showing you how I contour my face I am not super skilled with the nose contour and that's where I really like a brush like this to be able to get down there and I probably use this more with a bronzer but if I was going to use a powdered contour I really like a brush like this that's quite dense and flattish now I love these brushes that come in the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes I love this end of the those brushes for my nose if I was going to contour my nose so I'm going to do that I have a quite a wide bulbous nose I call it my strawberry nose because it looks like a strawberry because I have all pores in it and it's just shaped like a strawberry so I do shade my nose but I am not a I am not an expert at the contouring if you are wanting to see a really snatched way of doing a contoured nose that I think was brilliant and I loved it and when I have the time I like to you to do this I'll leave a link in the card here of the video I did where I followed the Tarty Scott Barnes natural look the way that that nose contour came out in that video is something I have been recreating when I go out for a special occasion because I did really like the way that the contour on my nose comes out when I use that technique but for every day I do not go to that trouble I don't even contour on the every day I just bronze my nose but we, I'm going to show you what I would do if I was contouring with powder and I take this little brush because I have a very wide nose I 
just like to do two lines down and I'm as I said I'm not skilled at this I can't just go down the sides of my nose because my nose is so wide and it ends up defeating the purpose and I end up with a wide contour so I actually come down here hope you can see down here in the middle of my eyebrow and down here in the middle of my eyebrow but more on the bridge of on the from the bridge of the nose down then just do a little triangle at the bottom I haven't learnt the skill yet of trying to decrease the flare in my nose then I just take the other end of this brush and blend it so I just try my very best to not go too silly with a contour on my nose because I do not want to look like I have two stripes down my nose And then just make sure that you really blend any of those lines to minimise the stripy look. Okay guys, I do hope that was helpful. I have done three videos where I have applied contour. So that was this video here. And I am going to follow up with videos on how to apply bronzer and highlighter so please stay tuned for those videos and if you would like to see more videos from me please check out these videos here and you can see what other videos I have filmed aimed at the more mature girl. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day guys and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later guys. Bye.